Right then peeps, today we're going to be taking a look at the new 3D Mark benchmark software. Now it's quite important because uh, this is quite a step forward for 3D Mark because this is going to be their first multi-platform test that they've done. It's just been released for Windows but it is going to be getting rolled out for uh, like mobile phones and tablets, so Android and uh, Windows Mobile, all that kind of stuff as well, and iOS. Um, so it's quite a big step forward for them and it'll also bring us a great chance to be able to compare lots of different devices in all the scores. Now the Windows one is the first one that they have released and obviously this is the one that we're most interested in at the moment. But as you can look up here, we've got uh, three different tests. Ice Storm, which it says is for mobile devices and entry level PCs. Then we've got CloudGate, which is for notebooks and home PCs. Uh, and then uh, High Performance, which is Firestrike and it says underneath High Performance and Gaming PCs but there's also an extreme option. Now, really, the Firestrike one is going to be the one that we're going to be most interested in with most of our reviews and tests going forward, but I'm going to show you all of these. I have got Fraps running as well, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll cut in and out from Fraps shot so you can actually get a decent look at the actual benchmark itself, and then we'll go back to you know filming the screen for the uh, like the end result where the results are because Fraps doesn't it won't let me record now otherwise I would be doing this uh, with just the screen throughout. Now system specs are a Rampage 4 Extreme, a 3960X at 4.6 gigahertz, 16 gigabyte of Corsair Dominator Platinum at 2133 megahertz, a 240 gigabyte Corsair um, Neutron GTX drive a HIS7970 and it's the IceQ X2 version, uh, an AX1200 watt power supply and then a uh, Corsair H100i. Uh, also for the first time today I have got an Asus sound card in, it's the Phoebus uh, Republic of Gamers card but that's not going to um, encroach on you know results or uh, you're not even really going to get a chance to hear anything. Um, but anyway what we'll do is I'm going to click run ice storm and then I, well, as soon as it pops up, I need to make sure I smash F9 so it starts recording it with fraps. But then we'll come back right at the end when it's uh, complete. Hokey chokey, so at the end of the test, and obviously this is the first time I've run these for you, so I, I, I'm unaware of you know what how these scores compare and the likes, but we'll see with, with time. It's more about just showing you, and so you can compare to your own results. But the score was uh, 15,080. Uh, we had a graphic score of 14,327, a physics score of 18,484, and then you can see the other scores underneath. One thing I will say though, Please remember that I was recording with Fraps, so uh, what I'll do is right at the end I'll tell you how much difference it makes when we don't run it with Fraps, uh, because obviously I was recording for you guys. Uh, but anyway, what we'll do is we click back up here and go to test, and now we want to do the CloudGate uh, demo. So we run CloudGate, I need to make sure that I press uh, F9 again as soon as it comes up, um, but I will cut in with the video.
Okay then, so CloudGate uh, results, we got a score of 12,082, that was with a graphic score of 12,643 and a physics score of 10,458. Physics is obviously where we're running AMD is obviously the, the CPU doing it, so that's another thing you need to keep in mind and obviously we are recording these with fraps as well, so the scores may be a little bit lower. Anyway, what we will do now is move swiftly on and we're going to do the fire strike test but we'll do the original one first and then we'll do the extreme one uh, straight afterwards. So we'll run fire strike and I will cut back in with the video shortly. Okay then peeps, so we got a score of 7,382 there with a graphic score of uh, 8,120 and then a physics score of 14,748 and you can see the differences below. Now I did say to you I will run the uh, extreme test and I will do but what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to uh, just use the combined test right at the end rather than watching it all right the way through separately for you. I'll just put the uh, the combined test right at the end on, so that should make things uh, a little bit easier for you and a shorter for you to follow. But then we'll cut back in at the end uh, with the complete score. Okay then, you can see that that combined test for extreme was extremely demanding. Um, 
the front of the second were really low. I've, I think it's probably the most intensive thing I've ever tried running on this. Uh, but we had a score of 3,677. That's with a graphic score of 3,786. Physics score stayed relatively the same. Obviously, it's, uh, it, it doesn't really load the CPU that much up in that respect. Um, but there we go, peeps. This is the end of the video. Uh, like I said, it's just I uh, wanted to give you a chance to see the new benchmark, maybe compare your results with mine. Um, and this will be something that we'll be adding into our review lineup going forward from here. Uh, but for now, at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.